trying to decode the silence from the girl you're into? It's like being at a party where everyone's having a blast, but you can't hear the music, right? No doubt it's frustrating, even disheartening. But don't worry, you're not alone in this tangled dance. Girls? They're a bit like Rubik's Cubes. Colorful, appealing, and oh-so-confusing. And when they're ignoring you, it's like you're trying to solve that cube blindfolded. Here's the real talk. When a girl goes silent, it's not necessarily a secret Morse code for I'm into you, chase me. More often, it's her quiet plea for you to stop the chase. It's her subtle way of avoiding the awkwardness of letting you down. But let's not ignore the fact that sometimes, just sometimes, her silence could be a sly fox's move. A tease, a play, a game. She might be checking you out coyly or flirting with another guy while glancing at you like she's playing chess and you're her king. But unless you're getting some strong, unmistakable signs, don't bet your heart on this theory. Getting the cold shoulder doesn't have to be a dead end. It's an opportunity to step back, recalibrate, and woo her in a more appealing way. And who knows? She might just tune into your frequency. But remember, not every silence is an invitation. Sometimes, it's simply that she sees you as a friend, not a potential love interest. Other times, it's her way of gently letting you down without having to spell it out. The key is to read between the lines and respect her space. 1. Make a big gesture. Let's flip the script on this one, shall we? Picture this. You're in a movie, and it's time for that pivotal scene where the guy does something so grand it sweeps the girl off her feet. Because sometimes, that's what it takes to break through the ice, a gesture so bold it can't be ignored. Think about penning a heartfelt note or even a poem if you're feeling Shakespearean. Or if you're a DIY kind of guy, why not craft something with your own two hands? It's like giving her a piece of your heart, tangible proof of your affection. But here's the catch. You've got to go big in public. Let it be a declaration, not a whisper. Show her you're as serious as a heart attack when it comes to her. Remember. The goal is to get her to see you in a new light, and sometimes a grand gesture is the perfect spotlight. 2. Ask her why. So, you've tried all the tricks in the book and she's still as frosty as a winter morning. What now? Well, sometimes the best approach is the simplest one. Just ask her. Picture this. You're lost in a maze and she holds the map. Wouldn't it be easier to ask her for directions? It's the same here. Tell her you're confused, you're in the dark, and you need her to switch on the light. Now here's a secret. Most times, she'll appreciate your honesty. And hey, it could be a silly misunderstanding. Like a game of Chinese whispers, things could have gotten twisted along the way. So sit down, have a heart-to-heart, -heart, and untangle the knots. Communication is the key that unlocks most doors, and this one's no different. It's not about winning or losing. It's about understanding. And once you get there, you might just find she's ready to break the silence. 3. Give another girl attention. All right, let's kick it up a notch, shall we? What's better than playing hard to get? Playing hard to get with someone else. It's like switching channels when your favorite show's on a break. Look at it this way. You're a hot coffee on a cold day, and she's taken you for granted, thinking you'll always be there to warm her up. But when another girl starts sipping that coffee, the temperature rises. Jealousy, that green-eyed monster, wakes up. When she sees you laughing, flirting, and sharing your charm with another, it's like a reality check. Suddenly, you're not just her backup plan. You're someone else's first choice. It's a wake-up call that says, hey, I'm not the only fish in the sea. But remember, it's not about playing games or hurting feelings. It's just a subtle reminder that you're not a moth forever drawn to her flame. You're a guy who's got options, and sometimes that's the nudge she needs to stop ignoring and start noticing. 4. Quit looking so desperate. Let's talk about desperation, or more importantly, the art of avoiding it. Imagine you're a cat, and she's a laser pointer. If you chase after it relentlessly, what happens? She'll keep running, and you'll keep chasing in circles. You might think showering her with you're my world and I'd do anything for you, will win her over. But here's the catch. It's like laying all your cards on the table in a poker game. It's too much, too soon. 
It's like offering her the whole bakery when all she wanted was a taste of the pastry. Instead, hold your cards close. Dial back the intensity a bit. Show her you're interested, but don't go all in just yet. The goal here is to look like a prize to be won, not a puppy chasing its tail. That balance, my friends, is the sweet spot between desperation and desire. And that's where you want to be. 5. Give her some space. Ever heard the phrase, absence makes the heart grow fonder? Sometimes, the best move is to take a step back, not forward. Yes, you heard it right. It's time to put the brakes on your advances. Imagine you're like that catchy tune on the radio. The more she hears it, the more it fades into background noise. But the minute it stops playing, she starts humming it, missing it. That's what we're aiming for here. When you step back and show you're not just an eager puppy, but a guy who has his own life and can move on, it changes the dynamics. It's like a game of tug of war, and you've just let go of the rope. Suddenly, she's left wondering why you're not pulling anymore. When you start ignoring her, she might just start noticing you. It's a risky move, sure, but sometimes playing hard to get can flip the script in your favor. 6. Text her something she needs to respond to. All right, picture this scenario. You're fishing, and she's the fish. Now, if you're casting out the same old bait and she's not biting, it's time to switch things up. Think about a text as a lure. What's the kind of bait that she just can't resist? It could be a question that sparks her interest, like a riddle she can't help but want to solve. Or maybe you offer up something she's interested in, like tickets to her favorite band's concert. It's like suddenly finding a golden ticket in your chocolate bar. It grabs your attention, doesn't it? The same principle applies here. Craft a text that she just can't ignore. You want her to see it and think, oh, I have to respond to this. And there you have it. You've caught her interest, and she's back in the conversation. 7. Just stop. She's not interested. Now it's time for a reality check. If you've tried all the tricks in the book and she's still radio silent, it might be time to read the room. It's like pushing a door that's clearly marked pull. If it's not opening, well, maybe it's just not your door. The more you push, the more you might appear like a desperate character from a horror movie. You know the type, right? The one who keeps banging on the door while everyone's yelling, Dude, it's locked! Move on! You don't want to be that guy. Remember, it's okay if she's not into you. It doesn't diminish your worth or attractiveness. It's just that this particular puzzle piece doesn't fit. Accept it. Gather your dignity and move on. There's a whole world full of doors ready to be opened. Remember, navigating the labyrinth of relationships isn't always a breeze, but with respect, patience, and understanding, you're well-equipped to face any challenge. Keep your heads high, your hearts open, and your spirits undaunted. After all, the right person is out there, and she's worth the wait. Until next time, stay awesome. If you like this video, then check out these related videos to see more and make sure to subscribe and leave a like.